You're on. Hi everyone, I am here with a Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. Sure. Let me know when you're ready. You don't even know where we are. Matthew chapter 25, Matthew 25, yeah, where was it? verse 31, it was again. reading through chapter 26, verse 13, yeah, it was again. don't you got a bookmark? No! Psalm 31, verses 9 through 18, waka waka waka! Proverbs chapter 8, verses 12 and 13. Don't you tell me nothing. Oh, I forgot to change it. Oh. It keeps... I've been reading in the um, King James here for a few days, but for some reason, every time I go back, it keeps taking me to New International. So I have to keep remembering to set it back. said. Get down there, get down there, get down there. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started with Matthew. Matthew 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on the right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungered, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee, a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer, and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in, naked, and you clothed me not, sick and in prison, and you visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did not to one of the least of these, ye did not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, 
ye know that after two days in the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes, and the elders of the people unto the palace of the high priest, who was called Capius, and consulted that they might take Jesus by subtly and kill him. But they said, Not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar among the people. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman, having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head and he, as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman hath done, be told for a memorial of her. And it still is to this very day. Alright guys, that's where we're going to stop with Matthew. And now we are continuing Psalm 31 with verses 9 through 18. Ready? Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief. Yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine inequity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance. They did not see me without, fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies, and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me from thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. And that was continuing on from yesterday with Psalm 31, verses 9 through 18. And now we have two Proverbs today. Proverbs chapter 8, verses 12 and 13. Ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil pride and arrogance and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your hearts. Let me get our book out here. Let's see what we um, did. Um...
And the question was, when Paul appealed to Caesar, where was he taken to see him? And the answer you should have came up with was, sure. Rome. Caesar in Rome. I thought you knew that one. Uh -huh. Okay, let's find another one then. Alright, here's one for tonight. You find this in the Old Testament. Who was the very first king of Israel? The very first king of Israel. The very first person that God made king of Israel. And that is your question for tonight. Please keep the following people in prayer. Lonnie Doe's Jr. and his family. Jimmy Myers. Sherman Crabtree. Rhonda Karshner and Abby Myers. Layla and her son Emil. Michelle Watkins. Judy Thompson. Cindy and Jim Welsh. Dora Carper. Garnet Boyer and Jim Mitchell. Melody Stanley. April and Linda Thacker, Barb Post, Randy Post, Dave Hemrick, Claire Dempsey, Sammy, and Paco. Okay, guys, that was everything for today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.